Hello folks, so I've got this new projector which was sent to me by Reaperbo and it's a 1080p, native 1080p projector. I'm going to be giving you an overview of the product along with giving you an example showing it you in action today so you can see what it's all about. And full disclosure, Reaperbo did send this to me for free of charge in exchange for this video, but I am going to be giving you my honest thoughts including the good and the bad today. So with this projector, at the furthest throw distance, you can have an image of up to 300 inches. I have a projector screen that has a 100 inch diagonal size, and this required a throw distance of about 117 inches, just under 10 feet. However, I didn't use the zoom functionality, and that is an option with this in the software. So the projector itself has a nice large lens. I do like this and it does produce a decent image as I'm going to show you. You do get a brightness of 550 lumens. You are going to want to make sure that you are in a darkened room ideally when using this. There is plenty of ventilation around the sides and there are a number of connections on the back including two USB connections and an HDMI connection. You can actually use the USB connections to install a memory stick and that will allow you to play media directly from your USB stick, whether that be movies, music, or just looking at the old family albums. On the side, we do have this focus wheel, although that is the only physical adjustment you can make to the image outside of moving the projector to a different location. Every other adjustment, including the keystone and zoom, can only be accessed via the software. One thing I would have liked to have seen, I guess this is one of the downsides, is that there is no lens cover here. If you are familiar with projectors, you will know that these lenses and dust, they attract one another as if they were magnetized. So be prepared, especially if you are keeping this out, that you are gonna to have to be cleaning this lens quite regularly. And also on the bottom of the projector, there is the four rubberized feet, just to protect any surfaces. And there is also a standard tripod mount and that's what I'm making use of. So without any further ado, let's get this turned on and check out the image quality. Right, so once you've gone through the initial setup where you select a language, you will be sent to this main home screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is just connect this up to my home Wi-Fi. Pretty much standard procedure here. This projector does connect to either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz networks. Now one nice feature here is that it has Bluetooth and it has Bluetooth input and output. So that means you can connect for example, a Bluetooth soundbar or headphones in order to use with this projector. Or you can connect a device such as your phone to use the inbuilt speakers on this projector when playing music. So yes, this projector does have inbuilt speakers. However, I would only really recommend using them if you have no other alternative. But even just on the home screen here, you can see the kind of image quality that can be expected. And I have to say, I am really impressed. I didn't expect it to look so good. So what I'm gonna do now is connect up my PlayStation 5 here to the projector and we'll see what sort of frame rate, what sort of image quality we get in game. Right, so I've got my PS5 connected via an HDMI cable. Of course, you can connect other devices as well, other consoles or streaming sticks or whatever the case may be. With the HDMI port connected, I'm just going to select that as a source from the projector home screen here. And here we go, the PlayStation 5 image is now being output. And I'll just reiterate, now that we are in game, this is actually really, really good. We are getting a beautiful smooth 60 frames per second here. And even though this projector is definitely not the brightest projector I've ever used, the lights are coming through well, and the darks are also coming through very dark. So the contrast here, I think, is also very good. And what's great is that projectors can be quite noisy because they do produce a lot of heat. But I'm just gonna put my phone right next to the projector where the ventilation fans are. Remember my phone was right next to the fan there, but when you are sitting down playing your games or watching your programs, it's just not going to be as noticeable. So as I mentioned, we do have that focus wheel on the side of the projector, which is definitely going to be needed. I do wish there was more hardware physical calibrations that could be made, but instead we have to use the software for keystone adjustments. And again, you know, that is going to come in useful, but just be careful because with software keystone, you do tend to, when you distort the image, 
get a little bit of blurriness around the outside. That happens with all projectors with software calibration. So ideally, you really wanna try and physically position this projector so that the minimal amount of calibration inside the software is then going to be required. And the only other thing that I feel lets this projector down a little bit is that the physical buttons on the top, they do feel a tad flimsy. And sometimes when I click them, they are just not as responsive as I would have liked. However, that's not really a big problem because the projector is also bundled with a remote controller. The only thing is the remote controller does require two AAA batteries, which are not included. So make sure you have those. But there's also a few other features here that I think some of you are going to be very happy about. For example, you can connect through Apple AirPlay or through Miracast. And that means you can stream content directly from your phone straight onto the projector so that you don't need to connect any other devices to it through a cable. So this projector, which of course isn't trying to compete with the premium high-end projectors that are out there on the market, but in the more budget category, I think this is a fantastic choice. The image quality absolutely surprised me. It's very good. Just make sure you have set everything correctly, including the focus here, just to make sure you're getting the most out of what this projector is capable of. But I did also mention that the 550 lumens isn't really going to be sufficient if you are in a bright room. But here's an example of the projector in action with my lights on. So I think in terms of giving an overview of this, we do have all bases covered there.